Akina to Akina Mike. Here we go, here we go. Leave your socks on. Leave them on today, people. What's up? It's the Rhythm That Rocks Your Day. It's Nati Hini Fame. Welcome back. It's it? Akina. It was some real Rick D's DJ voice right there. D -d -d DJ G. What's up, brother? Kia ora. Kia ora Fano. Um, thank you all for, you know, waiting patiently. Because I know you get a little notification that Nati Hini FM is about to go live. Hello, we are okay. here. We'll be live. What's up? Fun fact. I was actually, you know, I was, I was supposed to get a haircut today, you know, to slick myself up. I always like coming in slick because today I'm a bit unloaded. But you got yeah, to, yeah, I, I, you know, I noticed your fade this week, a nice side fade. You still got the mullet going? I still got the mullet. Yeah, yeah. But the nice, the, the side fade looked good. <sighs> Anyways, aside from the mullet, how are you, brother? I'm really good, brother. Thank you very much. Played a game of basketball last night, a bit sore. But okay. any time you get to play basketball is nice. Is nice. Didn't lose a game, which is always nice. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. what's what's your guys' little setup? How's it set up? It's a nice setup. If you're in Waipu or near the Waipu area, um, come out and it is. It's five on five, full court. Damn. Yeah, it's always nice. First to seven by ones. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Even if you shoot a three pointer. Yeah, you it's only all ones. One point. yeah. yeah. Or you Steph Curry wannabes. It's totally aimed at. And, um. If you win, you stay on. Yeah. If you win three games in a row, everyone's off. So it just there's another double rotation. Two yeah. teams come back on. Yeah. And then normally I, I, you know, we only have to wait. So we won three games in a row. All came off. A couple of games get played and then we're back on. And then it was another three games in a row. Damn, and boy. I, and then I came and I was like, my knees are done. My knees are done. Six, six good solid games. Actually, the last game was over like that. We just crushed it real quick. Do, so, do 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 you sort of ha you do you have your own team like yeah, consistently we're, uh, every week? Every week, yeah. So there's a probably last night was a good turnout. There was probably forty, maybe fifty players there. Damn! No, 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 no. Forty max, forty max, 30, 40 players. That's a lot but of they players. Were, but there were good ballers there last night. A lot of height, um, and I'm definitely one of the oldest. So there's about five of us who are in 40, I'm like I'm 42, so there's about five of us, about 42, 43, 39, blah, blah, blah. Now you be the LeBron of that, of that uh, court. I will be the Kareem Abdul-Jabbar of, of, of the end of the Lakers run. You know, <laughs> their bad knee, iced every nut. I'm knee. still hitting it though. Um, but there's, so we're this old team and we play with one of the guys, another Glenn actually. Another uh, Glenn? Another Glenn. <laughs> and he's from West Auckland. Um, he's from Whangarei, and he. I did think you? He, I think he coaches like not maybe coaches Whangarei boys or coaches. Did where, you live in West Auckland? Yeah, it's my mom. wow, what a coincidence! Yeah, and he, um, his son Kelsey, and his son Kelsey is good. He's only thirteen, I think. Fourteen's short player, but um, these hard hundred, you know, one of those cats that can run at a hundred miles an hour while dribbling the ball and still make a layup. It's all you want from a young guy. Yeah, it's just use your legs and go. Yeah. But yeah, no, it's and we've got we everyone knows how to play. We've got Jace is a good player. We've got a good team. Everyone knows the kind of role, and because the young guys, because we're the older team, all the young guys are still in high school or just left high school. They just want to shoot threes, yeah, and go a hundred miles an hour, yeah. And, it's, and we normally have just enough nous and game plan to. It's because you know the the older play. I'm not saying you're like old. old. I'm old. I'm Uncle Drew. You're, yeah, I get it. You you get you're getting me. Yeah, but like. I feel like the older players, especially like when we have, you know, just random scrimmages around Whangarei, I think the older players have this wit about them. That's that's the only thing that keeps me competitive. Yeah. Because these guys, some of these young guys, like this one young, young cat, not a very good ball handler, mm. you know, still got a long way to go with his skills, but when he jumped, he had an open shot every time because no one was up there with him. Yeah. And then when he realised that he can get closer. Sort of like the bro Cruz. You remember yeah, Cruz? Yeah, yeah, exactly. When Cruz, there, shout out to Cruz. Yeah. When they're up there, there's no point. Yeah. I don't jump. Yeah. You know, I just hope that they are going too fast or don't have the finesse to finish it and then I'll get a rebound, hopefully. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, well, big shout out to everyone that's tuning in right now. If you haven't already um, done this, do it now. Go on to YouTube. Subscribe to our channel, Ngati Hini FM. Also on Facebook, uh, 
Instagram, arkina.nhfm. If you want to get into the bros um, workbook, hit them up at glenn at nhht.co.nz. From the Natihini Health Trust, we have Te Tuo Natihini Manawaroa. And our Manawaroa program is about building resilience in our young people and their whanau. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to say I can't let the, you know, rabbit out of the hat just yet. Yeah. There's a good opportunity coming up for your whanau to join us. Um, and I can work with you in person or online to help build your whanau resilience and the resilience of your young ones. Maybe they're going to school. Maybe they're going through a hard time and you need, you know, we're not always going to be there as parents. And we want our kids to have that strength and resilience to carry on and do what they need to do um, when you're not around. And I'm hopefully this is the kind of program we're building. So hit me up, glenn at nhht.co.nz if you're interested in this program. I'll send out a workbook. But I'm also going to hit the boss up for a little bit of... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And uh, hopefully, um, you know... Serenity it, Pie is coming your way. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> They don't leave the house. Oh. You know, those, those are for the staff. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, yeah, so hopefully get some good stuff for you. So hit me up, please. And uh, we're going to get into the workbook in a couple more weeks before here on Akina. And um, give me a bit of time to try and uh, suss out some goodies for you cats if you're going to join me on our Manawaro journey. Cheer. Uh Last week, I seen, I seen the comments pop up um, on our last video. Um, some people sending some hate mail towards me. What for? Oh, for the Dragon Ball, uh, yeah, for the Dragon Ball Z, yeah, sucks. Harry Potter hate, your Star Wars hate. It was mostly Dragon Ball Z yeah. though. It was those old school cats that get right into Dragon Ball. Shout out to the brother Melissa Kuchu. Funny as that well. day, that day, me, Lewis, and <laughs> Lenny spent thirty minutes in the kitchen yeah. talking about Dragon Ball Super. Oh, Lewis, yeah, yeah Lewis as well. And then, and then, I didn't pop his head out. And there was five of us, and I. At one stage, one of the ladies eating lunch was like, can the grown men talking about cartoons please go somewhere else? And I was like, ah, the grown men too talk about cartoons. <laughs> sure, it's sure, a sure. part of life. It's a part of life. Um, hey, we're just going to take a quick break. Uh, we'll, we're going to get into our unpopular opinion. Also, um, later on down the track, we have 10 reasons why self-care is important. Love thyself. All right, G. Take a quick break. It's Akina on Ngātihinefe. Peace. <laughs> Every week. Akina to Akina Mike. Okay, okay. Hopefully I don't get as much hate mail this week um, for our unpopular opinion. Unpopular opinion today is... Well, we're, are we talking, it's not really an unpopular opinion, but we, we were having a discussion a little bit earlier about pies. And then someone Big dropped the bombshell, and they and they said this out loud. And I'm looking at them with all the evil eye in the world. They said, "Big Ben pies are trash." Big Ben. Bro. Big Ben is like my big brother. All right. Yeah. He's been there for me for good times and bad times. Big Ben is Big Papa. Big. Oh man, especially if you can still find and and very close. To, I'm not going to give it away. It's like a fishing spot. It's like a fishing spot, but very close to where we are right now. There is a dairy that sells it for less than two dollars yeah yeah so, now, one of the cheapest pies one of the cheapest in pies. Whangarei, I must say. yeah you know two dollars is good two dollars yeah. twenty is good but this place is a dollar eighty for your big ben because I, I i've i've been going to that same dairy um since i was five years old i remember you're a mince and cheese Mince and cheese. I'm mince. a steak and cheese. I like a steak for, and cheese. For Big Ben. For Big Ben. For yeah. Big Ben, it has to be mince and cheese. I don't know about the steak. Who ever goes off and gets those other flavours? I never... I've, I, ne I've ventured off. Are you venture? I've, I've you ventured. You get the chicken now and again? Or? I've, I've, I've got the chicken. I've got the uh, the cheese sausage roll. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, never, ever just mince plain. But, that is a... But it, we're not saying no, it's no. a great pie. It's not the best pie no. by far. But it is what it is yeah and it doesn't pretend to be you know it's a workhorse it's a workhorse it's a workhorse that's right let's, let's just label it as a workhorse it's a workhorse big horse. ben pies yeah it's the clydesdale it's the clydesdale of the of the pies yeah bro it is are you looking at me like see, that? see yeah. it's, a, it's our producer the one now, that says it's trash since moving to northland i've also had a uh lens lens pies lens oh. pie um all right and they're from kai kohi i think 
Yes. Because they, they used to have a sh shop just down here. Oh, yeah, lens okay. Pies. Yeah, yeah. And you can still get them. I know some places like sell lens pies. Yeah. That's not a bad pie. Okay, let's just rate the best top <laughs> three pies in Whangarei. Well, so, I can't, I, there, there's going to be, you know, people have to write in and people have to message us and text in and whatever because my experience is limited. Oh, my I, experience I, I, is limited. I, I, I can, but I, I know where it. my favorites are. Yeah. So, I think it's called the top three. I think I, I really like, is it the Baker's Crust? Okay, is that number one? That, for me, I saw I brought my daughter and my daughter turned 12 on the weekend and I took it to Laser Strike. Mean as they had a mean Laser Strike game. Yeah. Uh, and on the way, I went to Baker's Cross. The line, this was Saturday morning and there was a line out the door. And I thought, that's a good sign. Yeah. And I got the pie and it was unbelievable. I, I like it, like it had hints and notes of herbs and taste Ooh. and flavors. My palate was my, uh, you know, it wasn't like my, 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 um, infant palate is more for my Big Ben pie. Yeah, but my yeah. adult palate was for this bacon. And I was like, damn, that is good. I'm sure I've got a nice rose or a red, a red wine, maybe a Pinot in there. What? I couldn't tell. It was amazing. Too flash. Too flash. Too flash. Ooh. And it was a six dollar pie. Damn. Why you spend an extra dollar? You get it. Okay, I'm not gonna give it away. I'm not gonna disclose it. Carry on. Okay. Yeah, six dollar pie. So that's two, three Big Bens I could have got, and this was worth it. So that's number one. It's not, well, it's yeah, it's number one when I think of a pie in a bag that I'm going to take away. Yeah, like a port portability. But, yeah, exactly. Yeah. But Serenity's for for eaten because it has to be eaten. It's so big, and the cheese is like lava. It just it flows across the plate. So the Serenity steak and cheese is, is off the hook as well. Everyone knows about Serenity though. Give Serenity the respect that it deserves. It does. Yeah, but. I did hear on the on our morning show. Shout out to the e Ara e Mara crew. They they've been doing like taste testing on their show Ooh. for pies. Ooh. They said they've recommended the best pie you could possibly get in Whangarei is Pilkington's next to the hospital. That that cafe there and uh, okay. the hospital shops. Like, I feel like I need to get in my car very soon and go for a little Ex drive. Honestly, they said. I think it was the creamy bacon, creamy bacon and egg or something. Oh, they're going pie. off. They're going off script. They're going to some. They, 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 they recommended that because they tried. They tried the Serenity pies and and gave a, a hideous you know review on on the Serenity pies. Said it wasn't like as as you're saying about um uh, uh, what is it Baker's crust. Yeah. It's not portable. Yeah. So when you're eating it like no, no, on the go, you couldn't eat it's, it on it's, the go. It's too messy. It's not on the go. But as a taste, I think yeah. that's the best. But they said Pilkington's, oh. right next to the hospital. Well, that has to be next on my list then. My wife works at the hospital. Do I ask her? To... No, she would never bring it. Never <laughs> going to bring it up. Never <laughs> going to happen. But yeah, that's pretty dope. Yeah. But that's, I, I, other than that, I, I think I've had, you know, from Onarahi, I've had some from Tiki. Faux Valley has some very good... Po I'm going to I'm gonna put Faux Valley. Serenities, Faux Valley... And Pilkington's. There's one up on Station Road, like near Carmel, that I can't remember what the pie's like, but they do that garlic sausage roll. It's off the hook. Ooh. Yeah. Is that the one heading up north? No. That cafe? No, no, no. Ah. No, no, this is definitely more in Carmel. Yeah. But, no, man, all I want is a pie now. Yeah. Yeah. We went right off unpopular opinion and just. Just into the most pies. popular opinion. Yes, we want pies. We want pies. Yeah. I was lucky. A little, little side note. So when back in the day when I used to be on Juice um, TV, yeah. our so we work with different production companies. One of these people that we work with every year, they produce the Bakel's Pie Awards. So every year for maybe five, six, seven years in a row, I got to go to the Bakel's Pie Awards. Were you a tester? Never got the test. So ah, Bakel, at the actual awards, it was a, quite a an event, and it was not a not a black tie event, but. Everyone was dressed up. So it was quite full. Suits and gowns. Yeah. And gowns? Yeah. And, okay. and dinner was, you know, are you having the chicken or the beef, sir? That kind of thing. Or the vegetarian option. And wine was free flowing. It was a mean event, but there was never any pies there. What? I know, because they did all the testing like the day before. This ah. was just the prize giving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. But you they always should bring, bring them out. You always wanted pies that night. 
everyone's talking about pies, but <laughs> the best place, there's a place in Havelock North that's won for years. Uh, didn't win this year, though. The place that won this year was, I think, in Long Bay. In, in so what, 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 what do they base, like, you know? There, so they have categories, and there's always the mince and cheese category. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, that's, like, your, your key gold winner pie, your yeah. mince and cheese. But then they have, like, their um, sweet, like, a who bins the best sweet pie. Yeah. And then they have like the, a savory pie. Well, no, like it might be like your. I think one place once, and it was like a fruit salad pie with the Damn. gelatin and blah blah blah. But then the pie that always won in Havelock North was a. I can't even remember what it was, but it was like chicken and scallop, or like a seafood Mornay kind of thing. Chicken so they they, they always have a flash pie. Or I think it was like chicken and leek, you know, that bacon chicken and leek kind of thing. Yeah. They always have a flash pie that wins every year, but you know. Off topic, I only just found out about steak and um, oysters. What? Like as a as a duet? Yeah, as flavors. Like they they, surf and they turf? have they have meals. Surf and turf. What is that? Surf. Steak and oyster. Yeah, surf and turf. <laughs> I don't do seafood like that anyway, but it's I I heard it was like an Irish thing or something. Was it Irish? Uh, yeah, I just think that's a weird combination with the chicken and what oyster. Oh, Man, there's always and... like you know chicken and waffles. I'll I'll get jiggy with that. I'll get you know, jiggy with that if it's fried chicken, fried chicken and waffles. Yeah, if it's yeah, I I know that Americans hit that yeah, hard. Exactly. There's always combos, combinations, yeah. fusions, <laughs> yeah, polymerization. Yeah. Hit us up with your, um, let us know where your favourite pies are, yeah. especially in the Northland. Oh, yeah. yeah. In the comments right now. Because, you know, we take trips up to Kawakawa. Yeah. If it's a I'm, Kawakawa, I'm willing, comment. I'm willing to put some effort in for you guys yeah. to get to the truth of this. Pilkingtons. See Pilkingtons. you there. <laughs> See you there. It's time out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. When we come back, we're going to take uh, a moment for self-care and how we love ourselves. Cheer. It's Akina. That's a Hine FM. Not on Fangare FM. That's in here, all the way. Akina to Akina Mike. It's the rhythm that rocks your socks off. Gone it's... barefoot. But it's got to hear here, fam. Welcome back into Far Mode to our third segment of Akina. Shout out to everyone that's on our live stream right now on Facebook, Instagram, also listening on the radio. Oh, yeah, because this is what we are. <laughs> yeah, we, we're on FM. the radio. We're, yeah, it's oh. first priority. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're going to talk a little bit uh, about self-care today. It's part of, you know, Manawaroa Resilience. Loving yourself, yeah. um, being aware of yourself, uh, taking the time to take care of yourself, checking in. People often don't do that. Um, they just think, well, I just keep going, keep moving forward. Sometimes we need to reflect and go, am I okay? Oh, man, I've actually been working really hard and I haven't had enough rest. That's probably why I'm not feeling so great. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Take time to reflect. And so we're going to go over some things that we can do. And I thought it was a good time to just uh, mention, I watched a really good movie yesterday called A Wonderful Day in the Neighborhood. Now, we never really got in New Zealand um, Mr. Rogers. I think it's called Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. But I think most of us are pretty aware of this kid show that they had in America. And this guy was incredible. He was a little bit off kilter, a little bit, you know, people kind of make fun of him because he was so straight laced and, 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 you know, kind of down. But he was all about expressing yourself and expressing your feelings without hurting other people. Yeah. And all, every day it was a different lesson about um, it's okay to have these feelings, it's okay to feel dark, but there are many ways you can express your feelings, to talk about your feelings or let other people know how you feel without hurting yourself and hurting others. I thought, what a great lesson and and very apt when we talk about resilience and how we treat ourselves. So, yeah. do you want to kick us off first? Okay. What, what are, what's the, um, the loving yourself to self-care? Self-care. You have to. Loving yourself first is essential if you want to be happy and live your life with no regret. You may have been holding back uh, because you've been told you aren't worth uh, loving, loving at some point. Thus... You've been bullied. Oh, you've you've been bullying yourself about it ever since. But that is glass ceiling. That is the generation. That is the 
This generation must break through immediately. You deserve to be loved. Uh, you're a wonderful human. Life on this earth is short. Do you really want to waste it? Self-loathing. Hate only leads to hate, misery, and war. Do you want... <laughs> okay, that was a bit deep. Do you want to be at war with yourself forever? Or do you want to be at peace and create new and amazing things? You have a whole life waiting for you on the other side of all that. Sure. Love yourself. It's pretty simple. That got into war, misery. It I was like, yeah, whoa, okay. It makes it sound okay. real simple, but we all have hang-ups and we all have doubts and... You know, we've got years and years and years of conflicting messages about who we are and what makes us worthy to be loved or makes us worthy to be to love ourselves. Ew. But we got to start with ourselves, um, or else nothing will change. And we pretty much and, and and simple question to ask yourself: Are you happy? Mm. Is your life? Sometimes we just live a life that is good enough. That's what all we know. Yeah. Okay. Like some breezy. And. It's hard, you know, we've got, we fight all the time, we argue all the time, um, I resent myself, I resent my partner, yep. I resent the children we've had together. Why? Why Why is that? That shouldn't be a normal life. Mm. If you're not happy, if you're not enjoying it, change it up. Yeah. Change it up, okay? Um, but it starts you. from yourself. That's right. You have to love yourself, and, you know, to be able to love others, especially and, your partner. Your and mom. that leads us on to our, our second point, it is your responsibility. Yeah. By taking self-love out of your control and leaving it in the hands of others, you can only ever be disappointed. Yep. Okay? But take back that control. It isn't someone else's job to do that. Pressuring other people to do it for you is unfair. Mm. All right? You need to love yourself. It's not your parents' job. It's not your spouse's job. It's not your kid's job. They will do these things because it's part of the human, human um, experience. But you need to be responsible for the love that you give to yourself because it's your it's you it's you it's your it's your it's your experience it's where you're going to live your life so if you're if you are giving yourself permission to love yourself yeah. what you're also doing is giving permission to other people to love you yep and reciprocate that love back and forth chip number 3 um it makes it okay to be unloved by others when you love yourself you live on another level, another vibe. Some people won't like that. And that is okay for you. And maybe even good, uh, considering um, you will see who cares for you, who is happy to see you happy, and who just wants you to be miserable. When you prior prioritize yourself, you can see who matters and clear out all the toxic people in your life. Sure to that. And, that, and that's an important thing is to understand that it's okay that you can be alone and not be lonely. Yeah. All right? That you can love yourself and not have to have someone else's love to, to give yourself value. To be reliant um, on someone else's love, you know. People who have experienced trauma, uh, especially when they're young and they're coming up, often it uh, it manifests in, un, I don't want to say unsafe, but unhealthy attachments. Yeah. And sometimes those unhealthy attachments are things like, and we, you know, we joke about these kind of names, but we go level nine clingers, you know, level nine clingers, level, okay. level nine cling you know, someone that cannot be alone, that yeah. has to uh, message you 60 times a day and expects a reply 60 times back every yeah. and within the minute. These are people who are putting onto you their insecurity about being alone because of their insecurity about being unworthy of being loved. But if we can get to a point where we know it's okay for us to love ourselves and not have to be loved by others. It means we're open better to healthier relationships and healthier attachments. Do you feel, do you feel, you know, when we're talking about the self-love, mm. do you feel like you have love for yourself or do you still feel like maybe that affects that love? Like you go, well, maybe I, is there, is there a little doubt about? Well, there, uh, there uh, is a doubt that yeah. there is a doubt, um, you know, because I, I've I, I was living with my grandmother most most of my childhood, and there was there was a doubt that oh, they didn't, you know, I wasn't I wasn't enough for him to yeah. stay here. Yeah, I, oh, pretty okay. normal. It's pretty, okay, it's pretty. You know what you're saying is yeah. very normal. Yeah, you know, I'm sure many people who are probably listening, I I feel the exact. You know, I've had a very similar experience. Yeah, I can't. You know, I can't speak to that yeah. myself, but I can imagine and, and empathize. But like once I had, you know, once I had my first daughter. It sort of sort of all changed because I could I could be 
you know, the difference. I you could change it. Change it, the balance the other way. Yeah, kind of yeah, thing. yeah, it's, yeah. It's probably the, the truest story in the history of humanity is whatever mum or dad did this way, I tend to lean this way yeah. and, you know, I've got all my hang-ups too and even the positive stuff, even the really positive stuff, you can, you can kind of lean yeah. the other way. But or, no one's perfect though. You know? Or we tend to just repeat yeah. exactly you know, if it's not one way, it's almost exactly the same. Yeah. Man, thanks for that. Still learning, though. Still learning how to be a good dad. Um, Very hard. One of the other things we can do, now, there's so many lessons we can take from how to love and things like that, but these are just some, uh, some of the highlights of things you can do. Um, change the world. Woo! Change the world. Let's when you love yourself first, you can create real change, okay? Um, you have that confidence. You can be brave because you and bravery is not is not just understanding that um, I'm going to put myself in a vulnerable position. It's bravery is understanding that I'm going to fail and yeah. I'm going to fail. I'm going to fail and that's okay. I'm still worthy. I'm still lovable. I'm still loving myself and I'm even proud of myself for failing because I'm putting myself out there and trying new things. Oh yeah. Um, stop depending on someone else to give you all the emotional benefits that come with love because you're giving it to yourself. Yep. And as soon as you can make that happen, that change will happen and that greatness will follow. It's just a breath of fresh air, I tell you. <laughs> Lastly, you can love someone for real. Um, you can spend your life um, by giving love away, hoping, it, hoping to gain it in return, but life isn't a business transaction. Some people just take and you can, ah, oh, and you keep giving without realizing that it chips away at your own self-esteem and self-worth gotta reciprocate gotta reciprocate give and take give and yeah. take yeah and when when you love yourself without expecting anything in return you can love someone the way they deserve to be loved after all you have an endless source of it and it can never be depleted lovely my, one of my favorite words ever uh, and i only learned this word as an adult because someone named their album this word what's that altruism or altruistic it's, it's doing something for someone without wanting anything in return. Yeah. Um, normally, like we talk about transactions and, and relationships, often a lot of relationships and healthy relationships still, yeah. there is the transactional kind of thing. It's like, I do for you and you will do for me. Um, yeah. I will earn my, I always joke with my wife, like I'm earning my um, kind of, Brownie points. I earn brownie points. You know, I do things. I go a little bit extra just to, so my wife goes, well done, I praise you. <laughs> uh, I earn my brownie points. But really, I'm doing that so I can spend them later and go, remember that time I did that thing? Ah! It's so I can now do this thing. Here's my cash out. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. But sometimes when we when we love ourselves and, and we understand that we're okay and we are now in healthy relationships, we do things for people and expect nothing in return. We do it because we're putting ourselves out there. We're giving of ourselves. And that's enough. That's what makes us maybe. And sometimes I don't think maybe that's not altruistic because it makes me feel good. But I don't need to get anything back. I don't even need a thank you. That's when you are on a really good balance with yourself. Loving yourself. And therefore, you're a much better lover for other people. Here it is, bro. Sure. Love yourself, family. Everyone that's listening. Self love. That was some silk sonic smoothness right there. What you doing? What you doing? Where you at? Where you at? It's Akina. <laughs> we'll be back finally just to wrap things up here on Akina. That's a FM. Peace. Not Fangare FM. Not Fangare FM, no. It's, I was going to say it's Fangare. It's the Hearty Nauty FM. <laughs>
We out, family. Come back next week. Same time, same place. Here same, on Ngati Hini FM. Same bet channel. We. Bangare FM. We out. Sweet.